Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and we're going to be covering the Easter Classic Tournament Rookie Division Front Nine Wind. Thank you for being patient. This is much later than I normally start, but my daughter had volleyball uh, tournament like I posted. And thanks for everybody who commented and wished her, you know, good luck. Team was doing great, was killing it. And the very last set of the final game, my daughter went up to block a shot, block a spike. One of her teammates fell underneath of her, and my daughter landed on top of her and rolled her ankle. Had to be uh, taken off of the volleyball court and to the hospital as it was swollen, you know, like a softball on her ankle. Good news is we avoided a fracture or a break, so it's just a pretty severe sprain. But uh, it's been a wild, hectic day, but, you know, I definitely appreciate everybody. We're going to hop into this. This was a decent front nine. But it's not going to matter for me because on both of my rookie accounts, I have somebody leading at a minus 35. So, you know, that's not happening <laughs> for, uh, for me. Maybe for you, based off this walkthrough. But let's get this party started. Hole number one, 10% at max. Now, we don't have to use a kingmaker here, but you know how I do it in the finals. I always save the good balls for the last round. Why not? You can easily play this hole with a katana, you know, titan. Really kind of whatever ball you want, but, you know, we're using that win three ball just to help reduce the win for the second shot. Good news is I do pick up the eagle on both of my accounts, so it was a nice way to get the final round started. Great shot here, but this is no big deal. If we hit the fairway, we roll down, we're all good. It's going to leave us for a really nice chip in. Good part here is we're getting almost direct headwind. As you can see, I'm playing this shot 10% at maximum distance of my club. You know, you just need to make sure you check your own distance. I do have one bar of backspin on my inbringer with the ball guy line bouncing into the cup. Here, like I said, I make that 10% pull at max. Perfect ball, and we land in there for the eagle. That'll bring us on to hole number two. Hole number two, we're going to be super close, okay? Just bring your backbone. And we're going to take a look at the spin adjustment here. First of all, we're going to be playing 20% at maximum distance of our club. 2.2, 2.3 2 bars of back. So you can see here 20% at max, 2.2, 2.3 back. If you're playing with the backbone 10, um, just so you know, 20% at max is the same as the wind. 2.9 wind here will be 2.9 ring pull. Same thing if you have four and a half mile per hour wind, you'll pull four and a half rings. But again, that's only for a backbone 10. Um, but any other club, 20% at max. Take a notice here that I am lining my ball guideline short about two green squares short of the pin with that second to final hop in the middle of that dark green row. And you can see the very end of my ball guideline is in the middle of the light green row. We need to move this over to the right, but we need to move it over to the right just a hair. So like I said here, 2.9 wind equals 2.9 rings. Perfect ball. And you're gonna see here, we miss this one by about a quarter of a green square to the left-hand side. So we need to take a look, look at that landing spot and bump it over to the right-hand side a little bit. Hole number three, very, very close to the albatross. We're gonna take a Titan here with full top and a little bit of right side spin, just a sliver to make sure that our ball guideline looks, looks just like that on the second fairway. Here I'm going with some overpower. It wasn't a ton. You know, I'll show you the kind of overpower, about half a ball of overpower. I do hit a perfect shot, and we land really nicely down here. Now, I want you to go ahead and play this one 0%, but keep in mind, you know, I'm playing with the Goliath. If you don't get as much distance on your drive as me, you might be playing with the Sniper. But I think 0% is going to work good here in this wind angle. Now, you'll notice here I'm going with almost three bars of backspin with my ball guideline pointing into the cup. Perfect ball. And we come pretty close. You know, I'll take that for this hole. This one's a tough one to drop. We picked up the albatross in the last round, which we could have got it in the finals, but, you know, that's kind of how it is. This is a really nice shot. Uh, we do pick up a hole in one here. I wish I would have hit a perfect ball on my other account because this was actually my first attempt at it. 
So it's always nice when I get a hole in one on the first attempt and then try to take it with the next account. All right, you'll notice here, I'm gonna go with the backbone. 10% elevation at mid distance. For me, I have no spin, okay? Again, this is 10% at mid. I have no spin on this shot. I would, add, I would like you to add 0.1 bars of top spin. 0.1 bars of top spin. And there's your landing position. You notice here that we're dead center of that row. It just hope, so happens to be the same row that the cup is in. Perfect ball. This is why I want you to add that click of top spin because we get the slow roll drop. You know, if you have lower wind, you might come up short. So add about 0.1 bars of top spin. Let's get that ball a little bit faster to the hole and keep it good to go. Hole number five, 10% at max. We're gonna go ahead and put on full top, right? You'll see here full top, two bars of right side spin. Perfect ball. And we come out the fairway very nicely. Now here, um, I hit a perfect shot on both my accounts. Normally we play this one minus 25%, but um, I missed my shot way too much to the right hand side when I did that. So I decided to take off all the elevation. And on this shot, I'm gonna play it with no elevation. I'm gonna play it at mid distance. You can see here five bars at top with half a bar of left side spin. I want you to eliminate the left side spin. I want you to go to five top, 0% at mid, and here's why I want you to eliminate the side spin. Notice here I've got my, my green ring dead center of the rough. That's important to make sure we clip the rough here because if you misadjust this, you could not um, hit the rough. But that side spin kept us away from the hole. I like trying to play it at 0% on this wind angle, but let's just play it straight up with no side spin. Hole number six, I am extremely disappointed that I did not get an albatross on either account. I don't know what the problem is. This has been my money hole, but I'm going to talk you through it. We're going to use that kingmaker again to reduce the wind on the second shot. Here I'm going with full top, one bar of right side spin. Perfect ball. And we power this thing up the fairway. We're looking good. I do like taking the shot with the Goliath and Rookie. But I'm going to go two bars of left side spin and one bar of back spin. Ultimately, this is too much spin. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. What would I like you to do? I would like you to go with one and a half bars of side spin to the left. And then I would like you to go with... Um, half a bar of backspin, and I would like you to put your ball guide line through the hole, dead center. You can see here I'm offsetting to the left like I always do. I don't know what happens here, but this ball comes up a little odd and short, even with a perfect ball, and even with my ball guide line through the pin, as you can see there. So had we had a little bit more speed, I think we would have been okay. The ball wouldn't have had as much time to veer to the left like it did. I do believe that you see in that shot, you're gonna be able to tweak that with what I'm saying and pick up that albatross, which is gonna be very crucial. Um, very disappointed in myself that I didn't get that one though. Okay, hole number seven, I want you to play at 5% at mid. It's the final round. If you're here, let's just freaking go for it, man. We're gonna do the rough bump again. You know, we hit this hole in one on the last round. Here you can see I'm favoring the right hand side of the cup barely. I don't want you to do that. I want you to go dead center. And the reason that I say that is because the shot that you're seeing is played 10% at mid with no spin. I miss this to the right hand side, which is why I want you to go 5%. I want you to go 5% at mid, and I think we're gonna be really close to a dead center drop. Boy, that one's really tough whenever it hits the you know side of the hole like that. Okay, hole number eight is easy uh, as far as a drive goes. 10% at max, three bars of side spin to the right with one bar of back spin for me. Hey, I hope you're finding the video helpful. 
Um, please become a subscriber if you're not one already. It would really mean a lot to me. And please hit that thumbs up button to like the video. And if you're curious, yes, my back nine wind will be up today, but it's probably going to be later tonight as I'm waiting for my daughter and wife to get home from the hospital. Um, I had to drive an hour and a half back home to walk the dog. So they had to get a ride with another volleyball teammate um, back home. So that's going to put me a little bit more behind schedule and then pro tomorrow. All right. Shot number two, zero percent at mid. You can see here I'm wanting to go for this shot, but it wasn't just worth it. You know, we do need a little bit of backspin to calm the ball down. And when you do the backspin on this rough bump, it just messes with you. So I'm going to go with the max backspin approach. You see here, max backspin, one bar of side spin to the left. I want you to notice my setup point. My green ring right there. You see my green ring? It's on the fringe line. And look at the bounces. Notice my bounces is, is pretty heavily favoring the left-hand side of the cup. That's because of the left side spin. We want to keep that because this is a good shot. Look at that. So freaking close. That's another one there that we just burned the right edge of the cup. I want you to play the same spin, but I want you to move your target even more to the left by about maybe, you know, one third of a green square to the left should put us dead center. Hey, hole number nine. All right. Back to back tailwind. Let's get that berserker out and our big dog and be ready for it. Hey, if you'd like to show appreciation for my work all week in the tournament, uh, I do put a post to my uh, PayPal link in the comment section. Any donation is greatly appreciated. It doesn't matter the amount to me. It's kind of like, you know, tipping a good bartender if we gave you good service. I hope that I did give you good service. I think we've put together a pretty good tournament so far. Uh, if you're somebody who really likes animals and likes to, you know, help, you know, our the, the creatures out there that can't help themselves, our last membership donation went to a wildlife fund that helps preserve the oceans. So what I'm saying is if you'd like to become a member, you can check out the description below. Uh, we'll put you in our Facebook chat and we take some of those donations or some of the membership fees and we donate it towards a really good cause. Uh, we really do. So, you know, I'd love to have you as part of the members of the channel as well. Both shots on hole number nine are being played at 0%. I'm playing them both at max. Here you can see I'm using enough top spin until the top of my ball guide line is touching the green. That's just because this green rolls really fast. That's all we're doing here. Very slight baby curl to the right. We hit a perfect ball. We're on the green. Hey, you know, this right here are minus 14 uh, drops. And I think you're going to do better than that if you hit perfect because I think, you know, you can get to minus 15, minus 16, minus 17. I burnt many holes on this round, and I'm confident that you all will put it together and have some huge scores, and I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, back nine much later tonight, pro tomorrow. I appreciate everybody so much.